Uh, today's uh, Tuesday, August 31st. It is um, also uh, day 42 of uh, my recovery from the TIF and hiatal hernia surgery. Um, my days are all mixed up in this, the way they do the diet guide and uh, stuff like that. And this one of the books I have starts out with from the, for the first three days and then four, day four to day 14. And then it switches to week three. So um, I don't know. It's funny how I'm just trying to figure out how to count and that kind of stuff with uh, when am I off my restrictions and uh, in terms of eating and um, lifting lifting things and whatnot. As I mentioned in the past, I'm just anxious to exercise, lift weights and stuff like that, like I normally would. Or, you know, maybe not like I normally would, but slowly work back into it. But, um, you know, uh, is today's 42 days post-surgery. Um, you know, six weeks times seven days a week is 42 days. Seven times six is 42. But, um, you know, I don't know if uh, I've uh, been, you know, I just, my math is bad sometimes, I think. So, anyway, I'm just trying to figure out if, if tomorrow is, I, I'm off of restrictions tomorrow or if I still have to wait another week. But, um, I haven't completed six full weeks, I don't think, is what my wife said going through the calendar. But, either way, <clears throat> um, I'm eating fine. There's no problems with swallowing. I really don't have any dysphagia. I, you know, over the last week or so, added in, um, again, I think like I mentioned, some the things that the book, diet book says, like uh, soft noodles, macaroni and cheese. I haven't been extra cautious to make sure they're extra soft noodles, but um, I didn't have a problem with them. Swallowing was fine. Um, sometimes I get over, go overboard and eat too fast or take too big of a bite and I have a tiny bit of trouble but it's just it's so minor and again it's more so up in the throat than it was in the chest um, where they did any repair um, so uh, rice rice aroni um, I've added in some more I've added in tuna fish um, just had with miracle whip I added in some diced very thinly sliced ham it comes thinly sliced but uh, in with a egg omelet um, I haven't had anything hard. I haven't had any peanuts or anything like that or chips or crackers or anything like that at this point. Um, again, I, I might call my nurse practitioner to see if, you know, am I done with my restrictions or not in terms of food and, and exercise and weightlifting or do I need another, need to wait another week until September the, the 8th, I guess it would be. But, um, uh, the diet has been fine. I really haven't had trouble. I'm, although, I'm still taking the GI cocktail. I think today is the last day that they recommended I take it. And I guess, I think theoretically, if I needed to continue, I probably could. But um, I'm not sure because I've been, you know, I've had some days where it's been, you know, good days and days where it's been bad days. And again, um, allergies and where I am in Colorado, the smoke is just horrible. Some reports say we have the worst air quality in the world right now. Um, so, and I can see it right now. It's not good. Um, you know, and I just have, you know, again, sinus pressures types of stuff. Um, headache and, you know, I even get some ear pain when I have some some of those types of issues. But, and pressure in the sinuses. Uh, fighting off a sneeze right now. A dust, just allergies, who knows. So diet, um, I'm, I'm trying to think of anything else with the diet that's been, that bothered me, but I feel like I'm eating relatively normal and even faster. I'm able to eat more. I just finished, for example, breakfast. I had two, excuse me, three eggs, whole eggs, and um, a bowl of oatmeal. I didn't quite finish the bowl of oatmeal, although I think I could have, but I just, I gotta get to an appointment, so I was you know, a little bit more in a rush. Um, but that's what I've been eating for a while. And um, before I felt like, oh, I'm full. And now I don't really feel like that as much anymore. I still feel like I could eat more. Um, but I'm eating frequently. I probably eat about six times a day. Um, and if you count protein shakes as a meal, I have, you know, two or three protein shakes per day, if not, you know, more. And then, you know, the meals, like I mentioned before, I get tuna fish for lunch with uh, fruit and macaroni and cheese. 
the one in the cup and then dinner is like a ground turkey ground chicken rice and uh, green beans or more fruit usually peaches because I like peaches in the can um, stuff like that so and then you know snack times is usually a protein shake maybe some ice cream in addition to the protein shake if I just felt like it but again like I said before I don't really like ice cream very much so it's usually a protein shake but me trying to you know get back to normal and put on a little weight um, but it's just hard I, I don't think I can right now I'm just gonna have to be more patient and give it several more weeks before I can you know really start to eat more add in another protein shake or another protein shake or something like that but again that's just my problem and maybe not yours but so that's kind of the diet symptoms um, again I'm still on the GI cocktail I've had good and bad days with those um, I feel really I've had a pretty good string of days Saturday was not great today's again Tuesday but Monday yesterday to start up the day was pretty good other than the sinus pressures I've had I think Friday was a very good day too um, and then I think I had a bad day on Thursday and I last week and that was day like 37 or something where I had a bad day but that was pretty my last bad day that was maybe it was again as I mentioned in the video more so related to uh, the uh, allergies and such and, and not um, my surgery recovery but you know hard to tell at some points especially with my symptoms because again I've, I've, I don't have heartburn I get throat burn and ear pain and all that stuff so it's just hard to know and you know even when I went to urgent care doctors in the past they said there's allergies I'm like well is it are you sure because you know this is very common um, and uh, before surgery and now same thing after so um, I haven't had much nausea um, the, I still get water brash and sour taste although I again I, I am still drinking even more I'm drinking more meal more protein shakes more Gatorade the Gatorade sometimes gets yuck taste in the sour but not as bad it's intermittent so maybe it's just again I'm healing and finally more so than I have been because this has been going on for about three weeks now give or take I think I'd have to go back and look at the video where I had trouble but um, uh, again, I haven't had, had heartburn. Oh, regurgitation. I still, and I'm not, I don't get it when I'm sleeping, which is odd. You think you're laying down, you know, those with heartburn and whatnot, probably I would imagine feel it more so at night and they have to prop themselves up or whatever because they can't, they can't sleep because of the regurgitation or because of the acid, you know, because the gravity's not helping you and you're laying down. For me, I just, when I'm randomly sitting there, I just regurgitate. And again, it's because of the water brash, excessive or hyper salivation, um, or is it because I'm hungry? Uh, I don't know, uh, but I still get regurgitation. And it doesn't, I don't feel like any, not to gross anybody out, we all know if you're, if you're watching this, probably you've had acid reflux that I don't get food come back up. It's more just like liquid and saliva. And sometimes I'm wondering if it's not coming back up or if I'm actually, because I'm hyper salivating um, and water brash, that it's, I'm choked, almost choking on what's trying to go down, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm really trying to be mindful of it, but it's hard to determine. So, um, but other than that, I haven't had heartburn really, but maybe one time, um, and it was minor, it was like one day, and it was very intermittent, but beyond that, I, and I didn't have anything different to eat. But um, again, they said it was going to maybe take longer. So here we are. It's, I think, 42 days, six weeks, however you want to classify it, I guess. And um, uh, as of right now, I feel very good. Um, I'm still not better. I'm not recovered. I'm not 100% in terms of symptoms being gone. But, um, and again, I don't know if that GI cocktail, if I, again, I'm going to stop tomorrow excuse me today is the last day and I'm gonna stop and then we'll see hopefully I can not take it anymore so again I think I mentioned it was kind of the effects were waning at a point but um, you know I don't I don't know um, if, it, if it was just you know the healing or I don't know I, I wish I knew I wish I could give a better answer than that but Bear with me, I'm just parking in a parking lot. 
Um, so yeah, diet symptoms, and I I don't get I've never really had much pain at the surgical sites, and um, sometimes I feel st stretching or like bloating kind of stretches a little bit more, and it's not pain; it's more of like a pressure discomfort there. But it's not horrible in the slightest. It's good. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that that's, would be of note that's different than was before, but um, I don't think so. Um, I feel pretty good other than, again, allergies and whatever else is going on right now. And I'm sure it's just allergies with my ear and my, I, know I feel pressure in my head and my nose. Um, you know, with this crazy COVID times right now, um, it could be something different, I suppose. But I'm going into work, but I'm not going to see anybody or be around anybody. My building's pretty much vacant, so I'm just going into... Uh, grab my computer and uh, my laptop that I had to get looked at by the IT guy who's not even here and he just left it for me and then that's it so um, um, yeah uh, who knows but uh, I um, again I'm not sure if I'm off of my restrictions or not I'm gonna find out I uh, I think that I probably um, have another week is my, what they're gonna say probably and and uh, but nothing's gonna change I might I might a little earlier add in like uh, chicken but really really finely dice it up like I would give my 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 daughter seven but like you would give a two or a three year old I forget how old you know she was when she started eating that kind of stuff um, you know as much as I went through it I forget but really tiny tiny finely diced pieces and then just see but I don't think I'm gonna have trouble I haven't really had trouble with that kind of thing and I mean I would imagine it's a little bit rougher tougher consistency than cottage cheese but kind of like those big curds of cottage cheese maybe a little bit smaller than that and just really my wife can you know put it in the air fryer in the oven and really tenderize it and she's good at that stuff I could do it I just don't know how to do it like she does and then just get it really thin really small and really juicy and tender and then dice it up and then you know piece at a time and um, see how that does even if it's against my restrictions I think I would be ready for it I'm re I think I'm ready for to try something like a, like peanuts, but I, I still don't know if I'm going to do that right now. I think I might give it another week or two before I do something like that. Um, so you say, oh, you're off restrictions, but I'm still nervous about crackers and chips and cookies, and I don't eat that kind of stuff very often, but I would love some pistachios or peanuts, and I just ate, and I'm making myself hungry. So I say, I, I think I can eat more, but I just, I God, I can't, I don't, I feel like I can't, I can't eat anymore because there's just, I, can't, I don't have any time to eat and I'm not gaining any weight um, you know I fluctuate between for me 140 to 143 give or take and probably on the, the lower end of that um, anyway it's and I feel like I'm eating 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 all day long and um, sometimes like I don't want to eat but then I'm like oh I'm hungry and um, I have to have something um, so even last night you know where I would maybe have eggs at like eight o'clock at night before my last meal before bedtime which is weird I wouldn't normally eat that late but I'm like I'm hungry so I'm protein shake and ice cream or egg omelet or something like that um, so anyway that's about all I have um, it's for, for right now things are pretty good um, we'll see how they are again in uh, in a couple days if I'm off the GI cocktail and um, fingers crossed prayers up because I'm hoping it doesn't again regress back to what it was about three weeks ago, or two, excuse me, yeah, about three weeks ago, because um, I think it was uh, two weeks uh, two weeks ago when I started to have the really really bad symptoms, and then I dealt with it for like a week until I got the GI cocktail about two weeks ago. Yep. So um, if it goes back to three weeks ago, then I'm in trouble. Um, but hopefully not. I'm gonna be positive, and hopefully it goes away. So. Um, I'll, I'll keep posting videos. I don't know how frequently again, but just to give you an update on how I'm doing and what the symptoms are like. Um, I've had a rough time, as you know, if you've watched all the videos or even picked and chose um, uh, ones you might want to watch or just by, by the title. Not, that's probably not going to help you, but description maybe. I try to be better about that, but um, anyway, I'll keep you posted. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one.